Hello, welcome to another edition of Sparky Help, this time master an external 90 bend in electrical trunking. Please like, share and subscribe. So first of all, let's decide how much the measurement needs to be. So I'm going to choose a 150 and I'm going to mark round this. So this is going to be the end to the inside of bend. I'm going to mark round in the square. And then 45 from that point, making sure we go in the right direction. So this could be 45 degrees and or the dimension of the trunking. And the mark we're putting on now, this is the centre of the bend. So this is where it's going to bend from. So mark another 45 and mark those points round. This 45 needs to be marked onto the opposite side, making sure we are going the right direction. Do not cut this piece. Just going to scribe that mark there to mark the points cutting off. And these are the points we're going to actually take out. So that little piece is there and cut them out. Let's get the angle grinder. It's important doing these diagonals that you cut in the diagonal point as shown here. If you cut straight down when you put it together you'll end up with square holes. Remember, careful not to cut through that. Health and safety, fold those over, don't want to step on those. These are important, remember, cutting down those angles. Only a very small amount, and that wasn't quite brilliant. So we're just removing those tiny segments. And there we have it, three pieces taken out. So you have that. As ever, with trunking or anything electrical where you have cables, make sure you file it so it is nice and smooth. Don't bend it too much, otherwise the only bits holding together are the tops of that trunking and they'll snap. File it all up. And this bit here I'm going to score because so it just makes it slightly easier to bend, although it's fairly long, it will go. Bend those in a little bit so they go on the inside. Bend in that location. Make sure it's 90. Or to fit your wall, because your wall might not be 90. And then bend that piece over in the middle. Because you've scored it, it should make your life a little bit easier. Let's put some fixing holes through. And nuts and bolt it. I've got quite short nuts and bolts to make life easier. So I'm putting them around this direction. Ensure they're tight, make sure it's 90, there will be a little bit of play on this but not much. And that piece there I'm going to drill through. Now you could nut and bolt it but obviously that might impede the wall so you might have to notch a bit of the wall out for the nut or the head to fit in. Or you could use it as a fixing hole and screw straight into the wall. Either way, you need something to hold that down. And there you have it. I hope that's been useful. This is Sparky Help. Thank you very much.